to the Tutorial Tuesday Takeover Thursday edition. We're here. We're ready to add audio into our logic file. So let's say we have our instruments ready and you can hear those. Dope, dope, dope. So now let's say we want to add audio. How do we do that? We click this little plus sign that's adding a new track. I'm going to select audio. Now, if you're just recording on your computer and you put headphones in, you should be able to record with the built-in mic. The quality will not be fantastic, but you would be able to add audio. Now you would go here and select your built-in microphone or whichever input you're using. My audio interface, I'm selecting input number two. That is the mic right in front of me. And we're leaving the output the same. Record enable. It's nice to have that checked so you're ready to go as soon as it opens. It's not essential. We can always turn that on later. And let's hit create. Now, just like the other tracks, we have a mute, a solo, a record, and this is the input which lets us input monitor it. I can also turn that off. As soon as I enable the recording, we'll be able to hear it. This is the volume now of what you can hear. You can hear I go away completely, and then I come back. That is what I hear in my ear, but let's record. If I hit R while the cycle is on, we will start one bar before. Perfect, guys, so perfect. So now we have our ooze. I can turn off my record enable, and now I can manipulate that audio. So the first thing I could do, I could throw some EQ on there. Now EQing is just raising and lowering the levels of certain frequencies of what we have. If I solo this and play it for you, I have to turn on the analyzer. You can see that main frequency is there. If I turn up the highs, It's all crispy and you hear that crunchiness of my voice. If I turn up the lows, it gets crazy and overblown, sort of like it's in a tube. I could mess with different EQing. I could also go here and put any kind of effects. Now, when I click under here, you can see the EQ was added when I clicked on that. If I click here, I can add a new plugin. And any of these are my options. Let's say I want to go in pitch and I do pitch correction. This is what it's going to look like when you open. Now, I know what key I'm in, but let's say you don't. You could just leave this chromatic, and this right here is going to control how much I sound like T-Pain. Turn it slower. You won't hear it as much. Since I do know the key, I can crank it. Just some of the fun you're going to start having. And that is how I'd add audio. I could record percussion. I could record instruments. I could record voices. I could record banging on the trash can. Great Doug Funny reference. Anything I would want to add to my logic project. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to always subscribe so you never miss a beat.